Well, fall means school, homework, sports, and other activities, and that puts a premium on parents' time for making dinner. Fresh food educator Kirsten Renee is getting us moving this Monday with some ideas. Good morning. Good morning. And oh. I love everything that you brought in. Um, first thing that caught my eye is this rotisserie chicken rotisserie. because every parent knows that this is a big time saver. It is, and I think we talk about it every year because that is what parents are grabbing so that they can have quick access to a protein for their kids' lunch. Maybe they need it for their self because they don't have that extra time to get their self off to work in the morning because they, they've got to do kids as well. Right. So I think having a chicken, now you can either make your own. I've been doing a lot of spatchcock chickens. I know we kind of talked about that and there's a lot of stuff online. Or you can go and you can buy your rotisserie chickens, which is just as easy. So easy and so delicious. So easy, yeah. But, so what you want to do is get your chicken, um, prep it on a Sunday. So even buy one or two chickens, prep it on a Sunday so that you have it ready to go. Dice it, whatever. You know, some of the kids like to take the, the legs. That's a great mm -hmm. way to do lunches. But I've I've had a lot of friends ask me, I need new ideas already. Oh, I mean, we're already only running in, out. We're only, we're only a couple weeks week. in. We're only a couple weeks in. So these are great ideas, not just for a quick meal to grab mm -hmm. at night on the way to sports, but also stick these in your kids' lunches. And it's a great way for them to have a nice home-cooked meal. But the first thing is this salad. Okay, beautiful. Now, I always encourage salads. My kids take salads to school. I think um, it's a great way to get your kids um, fed and healthy. Pull some rotisserie chicken so it's shredded. Cook up some quinoa on a Sunday, okay? You've got the quinoa that'll add that grain to help mm -hmm. fill them up. And of course, we're in apple season. Yes. So pick some of those in-season produce items to add to your salad. Maybe you want to do something else and that's okay. A little bit of nuts, some um, Cram or not cranberries, but uh, dried cherries. Mm -hmm. Ooh, to add Sa some sweetness. Sweet, but you know what? Salad, you can do whatever. But this is my favorite. This is an apple cider vinaigrette dressing. Okay. You've got apple cider vinegar, some um, maple syrup, Minnesota maple syrup, and then you've got shallots. Very easy. Put that together at the beginning of the week. You can use it as a marinade later on at the end of the week if you want to. Should I shake it, it up? Shake it up, yep. And then go ahead and drizzle it on your salad. Right. And this is a great way, again, to, to pack a lunch and have it. You know, I did a football game the other day, too, and I was sitting there. I thought, man, I wish I had packed myself a salad. Yeah. Now, love it. Dinner, okay? okay? This is great. Less than 10 ingredients for a white chicken chili. We're heading into chili mm, season. Yes, we are. I get bored with a traditional chili. I like to mix it up, but you also have to have your cheat ingredients. Now, what we're going to do is in here I've got a little bit of butter melted. We're going to make a little bit of a roux just to thicken it slightly, okay? okay. So we're going to get this going. Now, if you look here, I've got some broth. I've got some um, beans. I, you can use cannellini beans. You can use navy beans. These are great northern beans, okay? Whatever you got in your Whatever cupboard. Whatever you've got in your cupboard. And that's the thing. Stock your pantry mm -hmm. with some of these staples so that you can pull them out quick. You don't have to make your list. Okay. Um, okay, so let's put some of the, or let's do the broth first. Okay. We're going to put the broth in there. We've okay? got about 30 seconds. Okay, put the broth in. Now, we also have another cheat ingredient. We've got our um, Oops, salsa sorry. verde. Nope, that's good. Spilling. Salsa verde. I'll put the Ooh, beans in. Yes. Okay. And then you've got spices that are already in your cupboard cumin, chili powder, and salt. Yep. And then if you'll put your rotisserie chicken in here, you're going to let this simmer 20, 25 minutes, 30 at the very, very most. And again, pack it the next day for lunch for your kids, and you've got a healthy, filling meal, less than 10 ingredients, ready in 30 minutes. I love it. These are wonderful ideas. Thank you. Kirsten, Renee, thank you so much. I know you're going to be back in about an hour with yes. even more ideas. If you are one of the parents at home that have already run out, <laughs> the school year just started, just started and here we so are. Oh here my we goodness. go. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you.